Hi, it's Karen with RT Systems. I have been asked to do a comparison of RT System software and other programming software. Let me say first, they all get the job done. They program memory frequencies into the radio. We think of the RT System software as being more intuitive, being easier to use, but then we do work with it all the time. So I decided to do this based on the FT70D, the Yaesu radio, because I found there is the Yaesu software, there is the RT system software, and there is Chirp. So I can do a pretty good comparison for you. I'm not here to tell you one is better than the other. I'm here just to show you some differences. So we're going to start with Chirp. The screen comes up and we can get started by open a file from the file menu or download a radio radio menu. So file new. And this is an interesting file. I have been in this for long enough to tell you that this is based on an ICOM plan. I can tell by the frequency if nothing else 146.01 Yezus don't come with that as a basic frequency. It's not going to hurt anything, but it's just something I noticed about it. Now, if I 145.750, that goes in. It shows me that's tuning step. This is mode. This is power. No offset is set up for it. And it was interesting. Okay, I've apparently triggered this one because I have read from an FT70 and it thinks it's going to talk to an FT70 with this untitled file. And I'll be perfectly honest, I kind of have my doubts and I'm not even going to try because I know enough about this process. I'm not going to try at this point. But let's do file and open. And see, I have an FT70 file, and it looks like this. The biggest thing I see here, let me scoot this up a little bit. And I am going to bring up my program for comparison. There are about 10 or 11 columns across here. You look at the RT Systems program, I have both receive and transmit frequency. I'm not going to make you do the math for this to go in. I have the offset frequency, which is in the top one. Offset direction, I spell out as plus or minus. It's a little easier to read. I do show you the operating mode because it can change on this radio. Name, show name, and it goes on across here and all kinds of things that are settings that can be set for this radio for each memory channel. We're real careful when we're doing design on these that we identify what options can be set a thousand times and what options can be set only once. There's a big difference here and that's fine. This will get the basics set up for you. But what about the rest of it? So we have banks here, and we have banks. The labels caught my eye. You can put check marks and get memory channels into banks. On ours, the banks are way out here at the right, but I can go settings and bank settings. And now they're up kind of close, and notice receive frequency and name again something we've been doing for years, receive frequency and name. We always considered those two pieces of information to be the best identifiers for the channel. And then we have the banks. One nice thing here, I can check here, press Control C, shift down arrow, and put all of those in the bank. Not real impressive when you have four, but real impressive when you have 400. I can also settings, bank names, and linking. 
Let's call this local. Let's call this. This is what you're going to see on the radio when you're choosing your bank. I can call them anything I want and tell it OK. And look at this. Local, home, away. They appear right there. So I know exactly which bank is where. Again, not the hardest thing in the world when I'm doing three of them, but it could get a little confusing when I'm doing 24 of them. At any time, I can spread a column so I can see the data or see the header a little more easily. Let's go to Settings. All radios have settings. Settings and radio menu settings, you'll find them in the same place in every one of our programs. And we have, I'm not going to go one by one for the differences, although I spotted several differences. One being this AMS. That is a channel by channel option. And here you're limited to setting it once. That means that all of your channels are going to be AMS. Automatic mode selection, which is not a bad thing to have turned on for all of them, but it's not a global setting. It's a line by line setting. The other thing I noticed was group monitor. I have two options here. Group monitor, I have those two options, but I also have a DPID list that the radio has and presents to you when you're doing fusion. I have a wires favorites list and just some things that seem to be missing. So now let's look at Yezu software, the ADMS 10. The big things I notice about this, all I did was open the program and put in a few frequencies. But I put in 147.24, and it gives me 147.24 and no offset frequency. And I have to calculate what my offset frequency is. Doesn't tell me that the field is in megahertz. And I happen to know that I'm going to put a 6 here. When I click back in the transmit frequency, it recalculates for me. But 145.35, and it I picked repeater minus when I was playing with it. But anything you enter here, 146.940, and it doesn't automatically know what the offset direction or the offset frequency should be. And yes, those could be different on a specific repeater. But I promise you, 99.9% .9 of the time, it's 600 kilohertz on 2 meters, and it's 5 megs on 440, 146.940, and it's automatic. You already know that it's 146.34 for transmit. You don't have to worry about these other columns. You don't have to do all the calculations. Now, I can do File New in the RT Systems program, and I can do that until I run out of screen. I can do window and new vertical tab group and compare two files. This works both in the Mac and the Windows program. Copy from here to here. I believe in Chirp you can do some copy and paste between files, but I don't know if they're just files of the same radio or I didn't go that far into it. Let me go back up here a minute. Skip. I know these skip memories. Skip memories. That correlates to this. PMS. This is limit memories. Programmable scan limits. VFO. VFO. And there's good chance I have the same frequencies in there because the radio told me that when they were new. 
and home. I don't remember seeing these in CHIRP. I checked back and didn't find them. Settings and settings. There we go. I have to admit, I like that it's a bigger screen. It seems to be everything on the same screen. And I would have to go line by line to see exactly what's the same, what's the difference, what's it called. This My Call Sign, you want that to be your call sign so you can get on Fusion. And in hours, if I do communications, which file am I in? I'm in this file. See the dark on it? I'm in this file. If I do communications and send data to radio, these are debug. I'm going to tell you there's not a call sign there. You type it in and it takes care of it, puts it right in, doesn't make you go search for where it goes. And now instead of your radio being just Yezu when you turn it on, it's got your call sign and it's ready for you to get on the air. It gives you some comparison between these three. But one last point to remember, RT Systems. We're here Monday through Friday and of some hours on Saturday to help you personally if you have questions about the programmer or some basics about the radio. I hope it helped. And remember, if you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. 73s.